You wanna say hey guys, welcome to the video with me? We should get to say hey guys, welcome to the video, my name's Anna. That'd be really funny. Hey, hey guys, welcome, welcome to, to the, the video, video. My, my name's, name's Anna. Anna. <laughs> and this is Enzo, as you probably know. My channel is Enzo Antonio, you should go subscribe. Today, we are doing a fun video that we've been wanting to do literally forever. I am terrified. We are gonna be doing a graphic design challenge because I, as we all know, am a graphic design major and he just learned Adobe Illustrator five minutes ago. But like also, I don't have like zero knowledge in graphic design. Like I make my own thumbnails and everything and like I know how to use Photoshop. We are gonna be doing a kind of challenge, not really a competition because one, we don't have judges and two, like we obviously we know oh. who's gonna win. No, I'm just joking. But for the challenge, we are gonna be doing but for the challenge, <laughs> I knew you were gonna start laughing. But for the <laughs> so <laughs> we're each gonna have ten minutes to design three logos, like ten minutes for each logo, and then we're gonna come back and compare them after designing them. The logos are gonna be like business names, but we're gonna randomly generate. <laughs> but we're gonna randomly generate the business names. So this will be really fun. So I have the random generator open right now, and we're gonna generate our first word. So first we're gonna generate an adjective, and then we're gonna generate a noun. Last. Last. I think that's good. Last. Okay. The last, last potato. potato. I like that. Okay. We can like come up with what that actually means by ourselves and then we'll like present it to each other with the logo. You ready? So we're gonna go off into separate rooms and we have 10 minutes on the clock to design. Do you think 10 minutes or 15? I feel like 10 minutes will okay. make it funny because okay. it's Ten. not enough true, time. True, true. Okay. And so can you hear me? Okay, we have a 10 minute timer set up and I've got my computer right here. Five, four, three. Two, one. Ew. Oh, should I do a French? I'm gonna do a French fry. Oh, a French fry place, like with only French fries. That's a genius, because you can like add like cheese and chili, because there's different kinds of fries. So I'm doing it for like this. And what if I just like put that on there and was like, I made this. Just kidding. That's plagiarism. Why is the, this tool look? Too okay. No, that's not the way. It rude. So last potato, I think, is gonna be a business where they are trying to conserve food and make sure that every last potato goes to use, or you know, just like anti-food waste organization. First, let me do the text, because that's always the easiest. The font should be just kind of like something you would see at Whole Foods. Usually the first font I choose is awful. Okay, how about I make the O a potato? This is a pretty solid potato. Um, I'm gonna trace this potato. I have seven and a half minutes, we're doing good. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm already kind of having a breakdown. Is there a rectangle? So there is, in fact. Miss Graphic Design Major is getting beat today. I want like a cool, like modern, trendy red color, not like a McDonald's red. Now, so I'm like gonna draw each individual fry. Yeah, I am. <sighs> Man, I should have. I was the one who suggested 10 minutes. I feel like 10 minutes will okay. make it funny. What if I just like copy and paste this now? It's not giving fries. <laughs> My thumbnails are. Good. Like I know how to do text and stuff. I this is not my forte. Let's do kind of like some earthy colors, but not ugly. You know, kind of like a trendy brown. Can we talk about the fact that we both said that we wanted to use trendy colors? Like what's that supposed to mean? Trendy, trendy red brown. color. No. I hate this font. What did I do? Ooh, this font is always good. Mont heavy demo. I love you. Ooh, okay. I wonder what Enzo is up to. Like I'm worried for him. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Where is the triangle tool? There is none. What the heck? We have four minutes left. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, this is such a nice font. <gasps> Look how perfectly it fits together. I'm not so sure about the smiley face. Like, what? Are, I feel like I'm bad at drawing smiley faces. I think I should do a little text at the bottom that says, like, conserve the crop. Also, we're not gonna feel bad for Enzo. Yeah, you should feel bad for me. I heard her talking. Does that look like it's like 3D now? It doesn't, it doesn't. Can we give like an extra five? Sure. I love how I was the one who said 10 minutes. It's funny because I'm done, but like, it's okay. I hate you. I'm trying to think like how 3D stuff works. How do I fill this in? I shouldn't have made all of these fries. I should have just made like one good one and then duplicated them from there. The potato could be a little bit more. 
Aha, his smile was too low. That's what it was. Aw, it's so cute. <laughs> I love this. I'm so excited to see Enzo's. <laughs> it's always so funny. What is it called? Last potato. I mean, technically the timer's up, but like I simply, like, it's not presentable. Uh, uh. Anna is off to the side, right there. And I'm gonna be reacting to his logo. Basically, I wanted it to be like a french fry company. Oh, So like that's like totally different than mine. That's right, funny. like you get french fries and like you can put so many different toppings like cheese Ooh. and like chili and like... And so what I really wanted to do is have a box of french fries and I didn't have okay. enough time to make such <laughs> just one singular fry in the thing. I like your concept. And the one french fry, it wasn't even fully... Yeah, I couldn't not... figure out how to color the rest of it in. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited to see yours. It's gonna be so good. So my idea was to have kind of like a food oh. conservation type thing. Here's my logo. <laughs> I love that so much. Conserve our crops. And it's like something that you'd see at Whole Foods. I'm so embarrassed. Now we're gonna generate our next brand. First we're gonna generate the adjective. adjective. This is fun. Solid. Solid song. <gasps> I like that. Solid okay. song. Our next brand is called Solid Song. Okay, so we're going back to 10 minutes because one, for the sake of time, and two, because it's more of a challenge and Enzo said it was okay. So we'll see how this goes. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we have a different mindset this time. I have an idea. Solid Song. It's like a music production, like helping company. So I'm going to trace this because hashtag no play plagiarism in this house. I'm going to start off with the text. Not because Anna said to, but because I want to. Excuse me. Why are you being rude? Sound like Adele. No, I don't. It's an Australian accent, no. <gasps> okay. So the first thing that popped into my head was to make this like a songwriting camp. So like basically the theme would be like you try to write a solid song by the time that the camp is over. Maybe I shouldn't do a text-based one this time though. Maybe I should like think outside of the box. Ooh, okay. An idea just popped into my head. So we've got that. And then I want it to be like curved along the line. Can't tell if it's good or bad. Oh wait, but I don't want that font either. Ooh, oh wait. This actually looks like a, um, ooh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I actually like where this is going now. This is already like not flopping. I think I just aimed way too high with this. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. Oh, I think I'm doing this wrong. Mm, no wait, I need to. This is this is a risk we're taking, but it's gonna work out. How much time? Okay, we have, we're like four minutes in. Last time, we're just gonna forget about last time. Like I was just trying to like use reverse psychology, so you thought I was really bad. Okay, because what is that? So these letters look a lot like music notes. I feel like this is gonna be really ugly, but like we don't have much time. Okay, we're just gonna have to go with that. I don't want it to be too busy though. You, 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 what am, what am I doing? What have I done? Oh, I mean, it doesn't look like an I, but like sometimes companies look like that. <gasps> I should have done the D on music sign. It's not too late to change. It's not too late. Luckily, this has a lot of circles to work with and they're balanced because there's two circles on each one. Ooh, okay. This isn't bad. It's ugly, but it's not bad. I changed my mind. This is gonna be a record store. Ooh. Right, there's Anna, she's on the side though. Yeah. Anyways, so, solid song I created as a brand. It's sort of like a music software brand, of course. Oh. So it's an auto-tune software. The theme is Sing Your Heart Out. Just kind of ironic, because auto-tune is very much like trying to, anyway. I made the Ooh. DMU, oh. Yeah. And I don't love the, where the sing your heart out is, but it's progress. Yeah, that's good. I actually really like that because it looks like a software. So like software logos are always really like, minimal like that. The only thing I would say is probably make the sing your heart out the same color. So I changed my idea, but my first idea was for it to be like a, a music. A, my first idea was for it to be like a music camp. But then I changed my mind at the very end because of the way that the logo looked and I decided to make it a record store. <gasps> Here's my logo. <gasps> oh my god. Do gosh. you like it? Wait, why don't we both do the music sign as a D? Oh yeah, well it just like makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Like these are vinyls and then these are music notes. See, like I can't tell if it's like you would see it and be like, ew, I could redesign that or if it's like cool. It's so fun to like generate the words. Look at that. 
Ugly. Ugly? No. Okay. No, wait, that might be good depending on what the noun is. Let's just. See. But no brand should have ugly in it. Ugly, ugly moo. <gasps> Ooh, this is a good one. Oh my god. Ugly mood. Five, four, three, two, one. So, for some reason, I'm thinking the color purple for this. And I just want like. Okay. What do I want the brand to be? I was thinking like a coffee brand or, ooh, okay, I should do like a bath bomb brand because it's like when you're in an ugly mood, you take a bath. So I'm gonna start by like doing a bunch of warping with the text to make it look like a bath bomb swirly. There's also a really cool tool in here that I d discovered recently. Let me see. Nah, I don't like the G in that. Okay. I'm just gonna play around with this. I couldn't think of anything else. Originally, I was gonna do like a like counseling therapy kind of place, but I thought that was just kind of like, ugly mood is just kind of a weird name for like, it's not very professional, so it doesn't match. Sorry, that was the airdrop noise. So instead, I'm doing an essential oil, but I forgot I have to press shift every time. Shift, shifting. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have the two O's, the essential oil diffusers and stuff like coming out of it. I don't have many fonts on here and like, oh wait, no, this is actually, I do like this. I can't just do color overlay like I could do in Photoshop. I could do this a lot better in Photoshop, actually. I mean, I could use Photoshop, but like, I need to, I need to eventually just face Illustrator. It's something that I feel like I just should know eventually in my life. It's not, oh wait, I can do just a circle. Oh, wait, okay. It's not gonna look like an essential oil diffuser, but when I explain it to Anna, she'll be like, yeah, okay. Let's do purple and orange. Ooh, this pink might be cool. No. Wait, all of a sudden this whole thing just looked awful to me. Okay. What did I do? Why is this looking not good? All these things are like, I can't tell if they're good or bad, which is why I like having time, because obviously I can make it a lot better. Ooh, okay, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I know what I'm doing. This is really cool tool. We have four minutes, we're good. This twirl tool is so cool and it just makes swirls i'm going to just like layer a bunch of these oh wait i don't hate this at all <gasps> it's really weird looking but like <gasps> no why am i getting like excited over literally the weirdest thing i've ever seen mm, no this down here i don't know how to do like the background thing so i'm kind of like cheating and not cheating just doing it like a weird way <laughs> oh that's <laughs> That's disgusting. I also want to do like some sort of steam coming out of here. I'm just gonna copy and paste this so it looks more precise. Yikes. <gasps> wait. Oh no. <laughs> I keep saying wait when it's like something really bad. What are we doing on, oh wait, what, minute 45? Yikes. This might look bad the first time, so we might have to adjust. Oh, I also need to write bath bombs. Maybe these all need to be shades of blue. Sorry if this is so bad. Does it need a tagline? Um, what if I just did a circle around it? I'm gonna do that. Ooh, cute. If I instead underlined it, is it too late to do that? All right, almost ready. Time. Okay, so. Ugly mood. I did an essential oils place where it has like diffusers and like the mm. key line is essential oils for every feeling. I did the O's in mood essential oil diffusers. Okay, we kind of went in the same direction. Wait, really? A little bit. Wait, hold on. I really like the font. I don't like the steam. The steam looks. Yeah, you I can mean, tell. But I really like the sh the how you made the O's. That's so cool. Yeah. Ugly mood like is cool. Like I could see people being like, uh, at first, but then like mm -hmm. just being like, oh, I'm going to ugly mood after school to get some stuff. Yeah. So mine is basically, I came up with a bath bomb uh -huh. company, <gasps> which is kind of in the same yeah. like thing as yours. Here's <gasps> my- Oh my God. Okay. It's this really cool tool. It looks like the Ariana Grande God is a woman Yeah, that, video. that's my, that was my idea because Lush had a bath bomb that was the God is a woman theme so that it makes your bath look like that. So then that was my idea. We should like rank 
which ones we think we did the best on. Yeah. I think my favorite is Last Potato, my second favorite is Ugly Mood, and then my third favorite is Solid Song. My favorite is also Last Potato. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I think I like Solid Song the best, then Ugly Mood, and then Last Potato. Thanks for watching. That was actually so fun. I want to like make this a series like, now. Comment down below your favorite of each yeah. of us. Like, Last Potato from mine is gonna be number one in everyone's <laughs> list. Know. That was... Follow Enzo. Enzo Antonio. Antonio. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys on Monday for another video. So, wait. Don't worry, film out the I didn't say bye. Bye, guys. Be there, be square. I hate when people say that. Bye. <laughs> bye.